Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study lab program 15. Write a program that has a user defined function to accept two numbers as parameters. If number is less than number 2, then numbers are swapped and returned. That is, number 2 is returned in place of number 1 and number 1 is reformed in place of number 2. Otherwise, the same order is returned. Let us begin with the function definition with the keyword def. Here I am going to write the name of the function as swap and I am going to take here two parameters as a comma b and then put colon as per the syntax of the function definition. Now with the indentation space I am going to check out the condition if a is less than b if this condition is true then it has to return the swapped value so hence we are going to write b comma a otherwise that is else part else and put colon with indentation it has to return a comma b so here in the question itself they have given otherwise the same order is return there will be no swapping takes place for this particular program we are going to check out the results of both of these two return values now uh, with the alignment of this definition, I am going to ask the user to enter two numbers. Let us take A is equal to integer type of data and inside the round bracket of input, we will ask the user to enter the value of A. End the double quotation mark and close the brackets. Take one more variable called B of type integer and in a input statement we will ask the user to enter the value of b and end the double quotation mark and close the brackets now we will print the variable values before swapping here in a double quotation i'll write before swapping A is equal to end the double quotation mark, put comma, put comma after writing A. Here in a double quotation mark, I'll write and B is equal to end the double quotation mark, put comma and then B close the bracket. Here I'm going to call this particular function. Uh, here I'll write A comma B is equal to, I'll write name of the function swap and pass both of these two arguments in a function call now i'm going to print after calling this function print in a double quotation mark i'll write after swapping a is equal to end the double quotation mark put comma write a and put comma and in a double quotation mark i'll write and b is equal to end the double quotation mark put comma and then write b and close the bracket now let us check out the output here i'll write output and once we execute this program execution always starts from here it will ask the user to enter the value of a so here enter the value of a will be printed for example i'm going to enter 5 next it will ask the user to enter the value of b so here i'm going to write enter the value of b here i'm going to write 10 now you can see here it is printing before swapping a is equal to as it is so here i'll write before swapping a is equal to will be printed as it is the value of a is 5 and b is equal to will be printed as it is and value of b is 10 so here function call is made to so control transfers to this function definition and it is going to check the value of a and b here a value is 5 and b value is 10 here you can check out the condition a is 5 and b is 10 whether 5 is less than 10 yes condition is true if this condition is true then it is going to return b comma a so here interchange takes place so next it is going to print after swapping A is equal to 10 and 
p is equal to 5 will be printed so this is run one now let us execute the same program one more time run two once again it will ask the user to enter the value of a here i'm going to enter 10 next it will ask the user to enter the value of b here i'm going to enter 5 so here it is going to print before swapping a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 5 next after printing this particular statement here function is called control jumps to this function definition and it is going to check out the result now a value is 10 b value is 5 so here 10 is less than 5 no condition is false if this condition is false then else part will get executed control directly jumps from if to else part and it is going to return a comma b so here there is no swapping takes place but it is going to print after swapping a is equal to the so same value 10 and 5 will be printed so it is going to print after swapping a is equal to here b, a value is what 10 and b is equal to 5 will be printed now it's time to execute this program let us execute and check out the result now we have come to vs code let us click on a new file and here i'm going to type lab 15 dot py and press enter and now we have come to lab 15 dot py file now let us uh, write the definition and then i'll write here swap and inside of the round bracket i'm going to pass these two parameters and put colon and press enter now i'm going to fast forward this uh, particular part of the video so that we can save our time Now it's time to save this uh, particular file by pressing Ctrl S. Now let us go for executing this program. Click on run, click on start debugging, click on Python debugger, click on Python file, debug the currently active Python file. Now you can observe it is executing in the terminal. Here it is asking the user to enter the value of A. Here I'm going to enter 5 and then 10 and press enter. Now you can observe before swapping a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 10. After swapping a is equal to 10, b is equal to 5. Now let us execute this program one more time. Now we will enter 10 for a and 5 for b and press enter. Now you can observe that before swapping a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 5. After swapping a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 5 only. So here no interchange takes place i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood and if you want to check out this particular program along with the flowchart then the link is given in the description below thank you so much for watching this video till the end and we will see you in the next video